Dad. What's going on? I'm glad to see you. Hey, son. Would you like to play Home Run Derby with your old man? <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. I'll just go grab my glove and we'll, we'll go down to the field. Sounds you, <laughs> you still want to play baseball with your old man at your age? That's so sweet. <laughs> Please don't cry, Dad. Stop. We'll, we'll have fun. It's, it's all good. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Family time, I love it. Pitch you got. Sean, I'm so excited to play Homer Derby. Hey, there's Kid. Hey, you can't be playing baseball without Kid Biscuits. Let's play. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna let you just pitch to Kid. I'm gonna let him play. It's cool. All right. Jump on in there, Kid. Hey, let's play some Homer and Derby. And hey, Barney B. Afterwards, uh, I need help with the math lesson. After I hit a Homer right to the moon. Let's get going, boy. A quick tutorial. One, for those of you who don't know how to play baseball, you always put your right hand on the bottom of your right hand, left hand on top, and then they made up this rumor that you don't move your back leg, but uh, I'm a samurai at heart, so you make a samurai swing, and then you move gracefully like a ballet, and you're gonna hit it right out of the park. Basically, gracefully. All right, let's see what you got, Mr. Biscuit. Come they used to call me lightning arm in high school. Oh, come on. Yes. Come on, man. You're crowning the plate. This one's going out of the park to Pluto after you just hit me like that. Say hi to the planet cheese. Barry Bonds. <laughs> nickel over here. Where's that nickel I lost? Where? Whoa. <laughs> And when I looked at the contract, you know, he said 50% each. Uh, he said I would own 120th of the business. So can you teach me how to do uh, fractions to decimals, or not decimals, to percents? That's it, to percents. That is a terrible idea. Um, just think about what you just said. You're going to resell used toothbrushes? Uh, do what you want. Uh, this gives me an opportunity to teach you some math. So whatever. I mean, if you want to sell used toothbrushes, go ahead. Uh, so I, I drew this up for you. So apparently, uh, currently, you are going to get 1 20th of the partnership or the business. Uh, that, that's not going to be 50%. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I don't know why you thought that, but you know what? That's okay. We're going to figure out what this is. 1 20th, uh, we want to turn this into a percent. So we are tr turning fractions into percents. So what I also did is I drew on this side. I created a proportion. We have 100% here. That's our maximum percentage. We have an n here, that's a variable. That's just holding the place for a number. I chose n because it's n number, that's why I chose it. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find what 1 20th is as a percent. So what I do, I do what's called the butterfly method. This is also known as cross product. So what you're gonna do is draw what looks like a butterfly. All right, and then cross product, you're gonna multiply one times 100 you get 100 n times 20 20 n equals 100 so that's what I got so far all right then I have to get rid of what's next to the variable well I have a 20 next to the variable it's 20 times n so when I what I need to do now is do the opposite so if it's 20 times n what's the opposite of multiplication division so we're going to divide and cancel divide so now we have a hundred divided by 20 you can actually cancel a zero and a zero and make it smaller so you have 10 divided by 2 so what do what is n equal n equals 5 so basically so you're getting a whopping 5% of the business that's not good yeah 
All right, so if you're uh, dealing with this guy and obviously I'm not gonna be there to help you and you don't have a pencil and paper, you can just use your cell phone as a calculator or just a calculator in general. And I'm gonna give you a method that just solves uh, fractions to percents super easy. What you're gonna do is press whatever your numerator is. The numerator is the top number on the fraction. You're gonna divide it by the denominator, which is the bottom number of the fraction. So you're gonna get an answer. And then what you're gonna do is simply multiply it by 100 and you will get your final solution as a percent. That's just a quick step. So what I want you to do, uh, here's what I want you to do, kid. I want you to find one over eight as a percent on your cell phone there. All right, can you do that? Let's see what you get. All right, so if we did one divided by eight, I get 0 0.125 times 100, I get 12.5%. This is easy, dude. Noise. Wait a second. So what you're telling me is that guy's only gonna give me 5% of my toothbrush business? That's bologna with cheese, and I don't like bologna. He's gonna get a piece of my mind. Come on, let's play. Come on, kids done learn play with your own bear. Come on, let's play homework there. Good luck, man. No, uh, yeah, I'll come play. Oh, like and subscribe here. Uh, share with your friends and become a true match and come back. What was my purpose in this video? Just hit me in the head with the ball and I didn't even find my nickel. Ugh.